Hi friends, Rachel here tuning in from a beautiful autumn day in New England. I wanted to share a couple of microfiction pieces that were recently published. So here goes. This first one is called Eat Dessert First, which was published by 101 Words because wouldn't you know it, the story is 101 Words and it came out this September. Inviting Aunt Pauline to Thanksgiving was my father's idea. The last time I'd seen her, she'd stolen the microphone at my cousin's bar mitzvah and sang karaoke Mariah Carey on the bima before the Torah portion. When Pauline arrived for dinner, she brought jello salad and called it a dessertitizer. The evening started amiably enough with sparkling cider, but no one counted on Pauline's whiskey flask hidden in her garter. When I tried to slice the salad jiggling inside green gelatin, Aunt Pauline started dancing the mashed potato and filling her bra with cranberry muffins. Nobody felt like eating the turkey. I hope your Thanksgiving isn't like that. This next story is called Firstborn, and it was published in August by Quarter Press. It's exactly 100 words. My mother confessed that she never knew how to spin straw into gold. Her deathbed secret brings me to this cursed wood, full moon spilling shadows through the shifting mist. I find the old man sobbing over a sullen fire. Mr. Rumpelstiltskin? He shrieks, flies into a frenzy, accuses, will you betray me, enslave me too? I inch into the firelight, holding out a basket, wine enchanted to flow forever, and fruitcake, mercifully without enchantment. Mary Solstice, father? He blinks, eyes widening with recognition. Then he throws back his head and guffaws, golden shillings like tears falling from his eyes. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for listening. And if you'd like to read the pieces and find out more, please check out my blog. Thanks so much.